Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about capacitors and here we'll plot the voltage curve when current curve is given and this is question number 6.11 and for this a student has requested so let's do let's see the question a 4 millifarad capacitor has the current waveform shown in figure so this is the current waveform given assume that v0 that is the initial voltage is 10 volt sketch the voltage waveform vt so first of all we need to define the current the, this is in, in terms of a graph we need to define it in terms of a uh, equations or mathematical forms so if you look carefully from time interval 0 to 2, 0 to 2, the magnitude is 15 milliamperes. We write it 15 milliamperes. Similarly, 2 to 4, this is minus 10 milliamperes, minus 10 milliamperes. 4 to 6, it is 0. And 6 to 8, it is 10, positive 10 milliamperes. Also for our E's I have given uh, four different names. This one I am calling V1, V2, V3 and V4. Now we know the formula for voltage. This is 1 over C, integral of the current plus initial voltage. Now the voltage here given is, a voltage, uh, initial voltage is given as 10 volt. So we will use this equation to calculate all the four voltages so first for first from 0 to 2 i is 15 from here and v naught is 10 volt so we'll plug in the values the capacitor voltage is 4 millifarad so 1 over c capacitor integral of i and plus the initial voltage now I, we know, uh, uh, is given here, this one, 15 milli, and now solving this, we bring this out, like, become like this, integral of dt we know is t, so the next step, this one solved gives us 3.75, integral gives t, and now we'll put the limits, 0 and t and solving we get the general equation like this where t is t and when it is 0 no value so 3.75 t plus 10 volt is the general equation of v1 t now we will go for v2 now we need to calculate the final value of this signal final value because which will be used as the initial voltage for the next voltage so whatever is the final value for this will be used as the initial voltage for this one. So from this equation we have to calculate the final value at t is equal to 0. That's the last limit of uh, this one. So at t is equal to 0 we can say that initial of V2, V2i is actually final of V1 at t is equal to 0. So putting t is equal to uh, sorry at t is equal to 2 so putting t is equal to 2 and solving 17.5 is now the initial voltage for v2 so 2 to 4 current now you can see is minus 10 milliampere and the voltage we have calculated uh, which is the initial voltage v1f or v12 i have written here so it is the same 17.5 so we'll use that and exactly same formula we are using putting the uh, equation limit now is from 2 to t putting the value of uh, the current this one 10 milli and the initial voltage solving 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 we get this as the general equation for v2 and 
from here now we can calculate the final value of v2 or initial value of v3 okay now the for the next part that is from time 4 to 6 here it is 0 and the initial uh, value will be uh, 12.5 so again we just plug in the values in the formula this is the formula the integral is now from 4 to t it is 0 and so we get a constant value of 12.5 and obviously the final value will also v36 will be 12.5 same value now we come to the last part from 6 to 8 it is 10 milliampere from here you can see v36 is 12.5 volt from here so again plug in into the formula now limit is from 6 to t idt 12.5 10 milliampere so this solving will give you 2.5 into t and the limit is now from 6 to t so solving this we get the final answer of 2.5 t minus 2.5 volt now let's summarize these are the four voltages that we have and we can just rearrange to write the DC part or the constant part first so we, we get this and now we'll uh, be plotting these values so the first one if you put t is equal to 0 in this we get 10 so the starting point is at 10 and the final point is at t is equal to 2 so putting t is equal to 2 we go to 17.5 so we draw a line from 10 to 17.5 so this point is let's say 17.5 so this is the first part now for the second part we'll use this formula uh, there is no need of calculating the initial point because this will remain the initial point we only need to calculate the final point so we put t is equal to 4 so v to 4 if you put t is equal to 4 in this the answer will be 22 minus 5 minus 10 so it will be 12.5 so from here we are now coming to 12.5 so this point is let's say 12.5 so this is the second part third part is constant so we'll just draw a constant line it's constant so from t4 to 6 we draw a constant line without slope and finally uh, for this the final point 8 at t is equal to 8 we're putting t is equal to 8 we get this to be 17.5 so now from uh, here that is 12.5 line we will move to 17.5 line so this is how you plot on the voltage curve i hope this gives you an understanding as to how to solve this type of a problem so please do like and share my video thank you